Holy crap. Oh, everything's cold in here too. Oh, come on, heated seats. As you could see by the start of the video, this is indeed just a vlog video. I really like doing these videos while they're not like super entertaining or like really heavy with useful content perhaps. It's just easy to be able to do like updates and just small things, get it out there on the channel and uh, you know, not make like a full production out of it. So it's easier to just be able to slap together an edit, upload and be done with it. Uh, today, uh, even though it's cold as anything this morning, a couple things need to get done. First of all, this car needs to have its oil changed. I try to keep the intervals about 4,000. You know, 3,000's good, but with modern oil, um, you can definitely go further than even 4,000, but 4,000, at 4,000 I feel comfortable, especially on this particular car. Knowing how finicky these cars are with, with fluids, 4,000 I think is fine. By 4,000, the oil's pretty much just you know fully dirty but we're we're actually 4300 over 300 over 4000 so I definitely need to get that done today headed off to Wally World and picking up some oil I'm actually going to use the same oil I used last time so this is kind of how things have gone I've used since I've owned this car I just try, you know I try not to be brand loyal or biased I try to use a lot of different products but also use products based off testing and knowledge that I can research. So everyone's favorite channel Project Farm had a really good comparison for a long time um, of all the different major motor oils for your car and uh, well there was a couple that really stood out. One of those was the Pennzoil uh, Ultra Platinum and some of the others were, uh, you know, they're higher end oils, right? For me in this car, because it's a GDI turbocharged high compression engine, it, it really needs a, a really good oil, right? To keep everything happy. So I definitely want to make sure I was using something good to put in the car every time. I did use Ultra Platinum and that's by far probably the best oil I've used. Problem is with Ultra Platinum, A, it's expensive. I mean, it's it's considerably more expensive than most of the other major oils. Um, B, it's hard to find. Uh, like in store, the only stores that I've noticed actually carry it on the shelf, and I only I were actually able to find it once that way. It was Napa. So Napa was the only auto parts store that I could find on the shelf ready to roll. That's the problem with that. Unless you order it online, it's it's really hard to get your hands on it when you want it or when you need it. So I only did that once, but that was by far the, the best oil. I noticed immediately the engine ran smoother. Um, things were a lot quieter. Actually, it was a really nice, really nice oil. Probably some of the best I've ever used. So Next after that, since I couldn't get the Ultra Platinum, I just went and got the, uh, just the regular Platinum, Pennzoil Platinum, and you know, and I would get the Platinum High Mileage. It was fine. It was fine, it was good oil, you know. I would say that's up there with like, just your regular Mobile One. It's a really good, you know, regular oil. There's no frills about it, nothing crazy. It was just a good regular oil and it wasn't super expensive you know and you could find it pretty much anywhere. So then there was a third option. The third option was the Shell uh, gas truck and SUV oil. Anything near yourself. Why would you use an oil formulated for gas and truck? Well it's not just formulated for gas and truck. Like that's its target marketing because it's like a heavy duty oil. It's designed for heavy duty use. You know it's designed to be used in harsh environments where the engines are going to be working you know, to tow and whatnot. And I'm thinking, well, if an oil is designed well enough to protect an engine against extreme conditions like towing, then it's probably good enough for a performance-based engine to keep it happy. And that's what I did. So I ended up getting that uh, for probably two or three uh, oil changes. Actually, probably more now, probably four or five. <laughs> and it was good, it was fine. It wasn't the best, but it was good and it was cheap. It was like, I could get I could find it on sale, like at Advanced Auto Parts or something. I could get all six and a half quarts for like less than 30 bucks. So, 
you know that was really good it was a very comparable cheap oil it still did a good job it wasn't the best i think you know i think it was up there uh with just the regular uh Pennzoil platinum i wouldn't give it any edge over it i think it was just right there even with it and obviously it had a cost advantage so there was that so just recently the la the very last time i changed oil on this i ended up going to a castro oil mainly because it was on sale and I wanted to try it. I haven't ran castor oil since I had my Fox Body Coupe. I used to run the castor oil in that. I got away from it when I got the Cobra because the Cobra, they always use Mobile One, at least from the records I have of the car. So that's what I used for that for the longest time was Mobile One. But I never really went back to castor oil, you know, like Mobile One must be the shit. Everyone, you know, and that's what happened there. So I ended up getting the Castrol GTX, uh, no, not GTX, oh, what was it called? The, you know, the uh, full synthetic or fully synthetic, oh, can't remember what, what line it is. It's in the green jug, I know that a lot of them are in the green jug, that doesn't help. But goodness, I can't remember what it was. The Castrol Edge, the Castrol Edge, uh, high mileage, 5W30. Other than the Pennzoil Ultra Platinum, that has been the noticeably better oil that I have used since the Ultra Platinum. After using that oil, I noticed, you know, immediately the engine was a little bit more quieter. It ran a little bit more smoother than when I was running the uh, Shell. And it seemed to have a much more thicker, uh, like, I guess, film strength. So that was really important to me, uh, you know, with this engine and just to keep everything happy. So, and once again, easy to find, uh, you know, it's 20 bucks for like five quarts or 20 some dollars for five quarts at Walmart. So that's what I've been, that's what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get that again. I'm gonna try it again and see how well it does. Cause it did great last time. No need to, uh, you know, no need to stray away from what I realize is good and not good. So, uh, and plus all the other oils for some reason just aren't on sale like they used to be. So the Shell oil is more expensive. When you get that oil for cheap, it's definitely worth it because it's good oil, but it's not great oil. And I would consider the uh, Castrol Edge great oil along with the Ultra Platinum. Like they're really good oils. You know, I think Ultra Platinum of course is just a little bit better but considering the ease of availability and price point, definitely the Castrol Edge <laughs> edges out the Pennzoil Ultra Platinum. I know I had to do the pun. It was great. Anywho, so I'm gonna get my butt in here and get the uh, oil and filter and all the crap I need. And uh, I gotta change the oil. <sighs> all right, success. Castrol Edge, high mileage. So yeah, pretty good stuff here. Not a lot of money. The crazy part is the the five quart jug was twenty four like ninety six something like that. I don't know. It was definitely twenty four and change. And then the single quarts were like eight bucks. I'm like, what? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. So definitely cheaper to buy it in six or the five quart jug. But I don't need ten quarts. I just need. Uh, six and a half. Well, got it. So still, I mean, uh, with the filter and everything, it was like, what well, filter was five bucks, twenty four plus the filter. So it was like thirty eight bucks for like some, you know, for really good oil, you know. So I'm happy. It's good. Definitely cheaper than what Jiffy Loops want to charge you for crap tastic oil, right? <laughs> Also, uh, I'm gonna try something different, this oil change. I do use additives, uh, generally every time I change the oil. Um, usually I use, I put a quart of Marvel Mystery Oil in, so I substitute the quart of oil, the extra quart of oil for a quart of Marvel's Mystery Oil, but I'm not gonna do it this time. I'm just gonna run six quarts of the, of the Castrol Edge, and then I'm gonna run the half a quart, something a little bit different. And that's something different I'll show you once we get back to the garage. Uh, you may have heard of it, you may have not. It's not something most people think about or know about, um, but it's definitely a very unique product and it definitely works very well. Now I'm sure you're asking yourself what it is. That is this stuff right here. This stuff right here is really, really, it's a really interesting product first and foremost. 
This is very, it's more advertised for um, diesel vehicles, but it's not just for diesel vehicles. Uh, this I've used in the Mustang and it has kept everything very, very nice and lubricated, especially when I'm spinning that engine uh, past its normal range of operation. What this is really good at doing is uh, it protects the, the uh, turbo and whatnot in the, the seals that it really helps with that. It has a very slick um, feel about it. So I guess it, it basically adds extra film strength on top of the oil. So it really good and it kind of soaks into the metal too. So it provides a very, very slick surface. And I noticed the first time I used that product after using it, I you could hardly hear the high pressure fuel pump for anything. So I'm gonna go ahead, change the oil. I'm not gonna video it because you just wanna know the results. Um, and then I'll show you the results. So let me get to it and I'll uh, get back with it. All right, so here is the engine running. The noisiest part of these cars is right here. The high pressure fuel pump and then next to that would be the injectors down there. Um, definitely audibly noticeable there. It's a little bit later in the day. Uh, the reason why I'm picking up this video now is because that stuff has kind of, you know, I, I drove a good bit, drove probably about 100 miles and uh, got everything worked in. When you first put it in, it ain't going to do nothing. Not to mention that I only used a half a quart of it. Uh, it's been a while since I used it. For like initial use, you're supposed to put like a whole quart in um, and then like a half a quart every oil change after but I haven't used it um, consecutively every oil change so technically this it, it's more beneficial since if you don't use it um, in a while like I did to use a full quart but I did not substitute a full quart I substitute a half a quart so actually probably this is shade over half a quart so it's probably not gonna be as effective as it normally is but I can start the engine and hear if there's any difference in how quiet it is Definitely noticeably quieter with the hood down, but of course, let's open the, uh, the hood. <laughs> I forgot, remote start, pull the latch, shuts it off. Probably a good thing that it does that, right? There we go. up on the camera it is a little bit more quieter um, of course as that works in it'll probably quiet down a little bit more uh, but it is a shade quieter than it was and no it's not because the the oil was worn out or anything the oil still was pretty good shape that's just what that stuff's supposed to do and it's one of those things that actually does what it's supposed to do and does it does it well so yeah nice and quiet because before you could even hear the everything. I think right now the, the load's a little bit higher than normal. Um, so you hear, now it's warming up, you hear it a little bit more, the fuel pump. But normally, like how it was before, you would hear this. You would hear it very easily, the, the ticking that it with the hood uh, even closed. So it definitely helps. Um, the only problem with that product is it is extremely expensive. It's like $40 for the jug, which is not something I can use every time I change my oil. Once in a while, it serves its purpose. So, you know, whether it really, really, really does help, I cannot provide that information. But just from my uses with it, I can tell it definitely does something. And it's on the positive end of that something. And once again, this is the uh, the Hot Shots Secret Stiction Eliminator. Uh, so, pretty good stuff. So that wraps up another vlog video here. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. And if you want to see more content like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel, keep a lookout for the next video.